It is a track day, my favorite time of day. I just filled up the Barbie 350Z at the gas station. I'm probably two minutes away from the track. I have a lot on the agenda today. I need to film a cool video for Kumo Tires that I'm really excited about for their 60th birthday. We have Uncle Pat coming to the track and he's going to be like focused on teaching me how to chase. So he's gonna be driving Adam's 350Z when he can't because he's gonna be focused on driving his S15 as well. It's gonna be there and I'm gonna have Uncle Pat in the seat putting down some solid laps for me to continue to learn how to chase on, which I am hoping I can hone that in today. So that's gonna be the big focus of the track day for today to get me comfortable in the chase position, really push myself. Every time I've tried, I think I've tried two different times and I've only tried like with a couple laps during the track day. So that is going to be my sole focus for today because I gotta get comfortable chasing people before drift week. Because on drift week, I wanna be doing all the chasing that there is to be done. So that is on the agenda today. I'm gonna head to the track and shoot this cool video for Kumo Tires that I hope works out. It's kind of just all in my head right now and I'm hoping uh, I can make it happen. So if I do, I'll play it right now. <laughs> Compared to the previous clips, I am now a mess. Uh, it's so hot out here in Florida, but I am loving it. We have a dry track today, and I just finished filming our happy birthday Kumo Tire video. So again, happy birthday Kumo Tires. I just wanted to film like a fun bit there, trying to drift a 60 to celebrate Kumo Tires 60th birthday, 60th anniversary. So that was fun. Huge shout out and thank you to Mike on the drone for getting that shot. That was a big goal for today. I wanted to shoot that and now um, I'm actually waiting for more tires to show up. I threw a scrub set of Kumo's on here to start the day with and uh, got rid of them real fast with my lawn burnout that I did. So I'm waiting for more Kumo tires PS91 compound to show up. So while I wait, I might go on the track with Adam for a little bit. I know he has a chaser out here as well as we wait for the S15 to show up, but that was so much fun. If you guys have cool ideas for videos, uh, cool shots to try and do, any drift challenge videos, please send them to me or write them in the comments below because I just, I love trying to figure out something or figure out how to shoot something and that was a lot of fun, even though it's just a uh, number 60, but that was a lot of fun. Oh, one thing that I, must do at some point. I need a really, really big lot in order to do it, but I should be able to spell my name in cursive, drifting, but I need a really big space to do it. Eh, I mean, I could probably do it in a smaller space, but because my name is basically all just loops, really, and at the very end, I'll come back and cross the T. So that's one other challenge that I definitely want to do at some point. Uh, so the 60 was a good warm up, but yep. I'm gonna go see what Adam and everyone else are up to at the track and again, happy 60th birthday, Kumo Tires. Okay, change of plan. There's Adam. Woo, focus. Okay, change of plan. Uh, Adam just said I can drive the chaser for the first time, so I feel like I have to do it, I have to do it. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I'll have Adam film or something, but yeah, I need to go find padding so I can fit in the car, and I'm gonna drive a chaser.
be Colette's first time driving the chaser. Well, in the trap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's your what's your advice? Second gear and just drive with the throttle, not the steering wheel. Uh, it's gonna be weird uh, driving without harnesses. Oh yeah. Just wait for your rotaries. It's gonna make this thing feel like a V8. Hey. What is that? This is so weird. There you go. You gotta stay in the throttle though. Just try to be like less abrupt with the clutch because that's what breaks driveline components. I mean, how am I supposed to do it to snap out then? It's so grippy. You just don't do it so fast, you're new. It's hard to explain. Well. can only drive like above 4,000 RPM. More gas! Do you have more respect for this car now when I drive it like I do? I mean, I do, but like I'm not, I can't use the handbrake. I can't like... The handbrake's not going to help you not keeping the RPM up. You're not keeping the RPM up. Pretend it's a rotary. You got to drive it like that. with a different engine, a different chassis, different angle kit. There's so many variables. And it's right-hand drive. Can you go through the puddle so it cools down the tires? All right, so we just ate and the trailer showed up with my Kumo tires so I can mount some new tires and go driving now. And word just in is that Adam was just sent the fire tune for my car. So I think he is gonna try and throw that on before I go out again. So that's pretty awesome. tune uh, my car is just being weird and not liking either Adam's computer or something so we were not able to get the tune on that was just a psych out for both you and myself but Adam just got the S15 on track he's warming it up right now yee look at all the smoke there we go all the smoke you know Adam's out now this is his first session on track with the S15. I believe they are testing um, the oil starvation issue that they ran into at FD. And earlier this morning, uh, Andy was working on like a baffle for the oil pan. Oh, wow. Wow, no, no, we don't like that. I did not mean to do that. Uh, what was I saying? Um, earlier this morning, Andy was working on a baffle for the oil pan. So I believe he is testing that out and he's gonna go over to the oval in a bit. I just put a fresh set of Kumo tires on the car. I'm gonna go out, warm them up, 
set pressures and hopefully start on my chase training with Uncle Pat very soon. But I need to hurry up, go get myself comfortable out there so that I can start to dial in me as a driver again since it's been a while and start working with Pat. Has anyone else just had MGK stuck in their head? I keep singing his songs. All I know is I don't know nothing at all. People talk but they don't say nothing. All I know is I don't know nothing at all. <laughs> anyone here and I've been mostly by myself the whole time. Um, Pat went and was working with Adam on the S15, testing out the chassis, trying to tell him if the setup is good or not, but I've just been trying to turn laps, but now it's starting to get to me because that's how I get. I get like really excited and I can stay inside a car like all day without coming out and just do lap after lap after lap. Um, but I am going to get out now, look over the car. Uh, I'm getting a weird breakup when I won two at around 3,500 to 4,000 RPM. I'm not sure what it is, so I might disconnect the battery. I think it's just a needs ECU reset or something, but I got that. And then right now it's almost died a couple times, like not very dramatically, but the idle drove super low. So I'm gonna take a break. I need to hydrate myself, energize, and then go back out. Mm -hmm. myself to do this early on. They'll need to get a lot closer, but uh, slowly but surely. <laughs>
saying that I live like that in my stock C, even though I know I don't. Come on, do the thing. Do the thing with the thing. Do the do a flick. Do the flick. Come on, right right here, do a flick. No? For this video those last few laps I could barely see anything because I don't have fully working headlights and the track lights weren't on just that was like the end of our session anyway but that was amazing I feel so good and I'm just happy that I'm being confident from like lap two now and I'm able to put together a good first lap back in the car after not driving for a while so I feel great um, I got to practice chasing today with Pat which was amazing I still really really need to hone in on my chasing but I had a blast it was amazing I feel so good I love this car so much I now have it set up to where I like it um, I didn't notice as bit of a difference as I thought I would with it being raised but that's a good thing it was more of a functionality thing raising it with going on drift week and making it more like streetable I feel so good man this 350z is getting me so much seat time for over an hour I didn't even get outside of the car I didn't even take my helmet off I was just boom 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 busting out all the laps so seat time today was absolutely amazing getting a 350z was the best decision i've ever made point blank hands down best decision ever if you want to learn how to drift get a 350z hr like i'm just blown away i love it so much Get down.